Okay guys, today I have a new video for you. This is going to be on my Galaxy S4. And what I'm going to show you guys today is, let me just get into it here. I'm going to show you guys how to root the new uh, OTA update for the S4 for Verizon, the Verizon Galaxy S4. So what we're going to do is just go in here and show you what I'm working with here so we're on the same page. This is the, the uh, model number of SCH-I545. You can see we're on Android version 4.2.2 and our important thing right here is our build number which like I said is the MI1. So whenever you're going to root your device when it comes to this, this uh, Galaxy S4, the important thing is to make sure that the root exploit you're using works for your build number right there. So that's what I'm going to show you today is how to root this build number, it's the newest OTA at the time and we're going to get into that. So all you're going to do that is very important here is we're going to go ahead and remove our SD card out of the back if you have one installed. Um, don't pay any attention to the fact that I have a SIM, it's just not in there right now. But we're going to remove the SD card out of the back. So I just went ahead and uh, took my case off here and we're going to take this out. We can actually, actually, best thing to do here is to actually go ahead and power the device off because we're going to need to power it off to do the next step anyway. So we'll power it off. Should be fully powered off. There we go. So let's go ahead and just remove your micro SD card. And then put your cover back on the back. Everything should be good. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and put this thing into download mode. So to put your device into download mode, you're going to hold your volume down, your home button, and your power button. And just keep holding them. Should take just a second here. It'll vibrate, you should feel. And you're going to come into here, which gives you a warning about flashing custom operating systems. Uh, basically, you can volume down and it'll reboot the phone, or you can volume up to get into download mode. That's what we're going to do. And you're in download mode right here. So from here, we're going to take our USB cable right here. There you go. You can see it. And we're going to plug it into the device and plug it into our computer. Okay. So we should be able to leave the device like this. We should be ready. It's also important to have a good charge on your device when you're doing this. Um, so 80% or more is uh, optimal for you. So let's go over to the computer and I'll show you the program and how we're going to run this to install and root this device. Okay guys, so what we got over here on the computer is this file. You're going to download it actually from right here. This is an XDA uh, site and it's got directions written out here also that we're going to kind of follow along as we go. Um, so you download that file right here. It is a big file, it does take a long time so be patient for it. It should be about a gig and a half and it should download right here. So what you're going to do is go ahead and click on it. Make sure you have 7-zip installed. Um, you can google it and download it. It's 7-zip.org. I'll probably include that link in the video description as well. And you're just going to extract. Go ahead and hit it. And you're extracting right now. It shouldn't take too long but it is a big file. So let's let this finish. Alright guys, just so you can see, this took a little over, it's about two and a half minutes to extract this file. Um, so just be patient, it does take a little bit of time. So there you go, you can close this utility. And I'm going to show you two more files you guys are going to need. You're going to need this uh, Samsung drivers, which is an EXE file, you're just going to run it. I'm obviously on Windows 7, or any Windows, any Windows technically should work. But you're going to need that, and then you're going to need this Odin 307. Uh, file also again I will include all the files you should need and links to everything you need in the video description so um, at this point I would run the drivers and make sure your drivers are installing for Odin but uh, I've already done it so I'm not going to um, you've got your files extracted which is good you have this file right here and you have this file right here which is uh, what we're gonna flash in Odin so we're gonna open up Odin run run Odin right here and you're going to see if your drivers are installed correctly, a uh, COM port and a number. Number doesn't matter, just needs to have something right here in this section. And you're going to see 
right down here saying added, meaning that your computer and Odin program can see your phone. So everything here looks good. We're going to go here to PDA and we're going to find, if I can find it here, our folder and what we extracted with that zip, which is this file right here. And what's going to happen is it's going to go ahead and open it up here in the program and it's going to check it to make sure that it is a good uh, download and that it's good to flash to the device. So it does this little check. This could take a couple minutes also because it's such a big file. So just uh, let this happen. Also want to mention to you guys that um, the last one I did that was the same same process on the Note 3 actually wipes your data on your device so you will lose all of your applications and settings and passwords and you'll kind of be wiped back to stock uh, stock MI1 so just be prepared that that could happen here so that says everything looks good and successful and then it lists the file you selected over here on the side so at this point we can go ahead and click the start button and your phone is obviously in Odin mode right now and there should be a little blue progress bar going across below, below where it says downloading and that's going to go across along with the progress bar up here is going to go across kind of together in, in essence so this is probably going to take uh, eight minutes to ten minutes to run so the biggest file is this system file this is all of the apps and operating system right here there will be a little bit after this but this is the biggest file and obviously you saw that I didn't check any of these boxes these two are always pre-checked right here and here so if you run it that's all it should be checked so you just leave those checked and you hit that PDA button to add the file do not hit repartition or anything else it is dangerous this tool does do lots of things and can can hurt your device if you don't know how to use it so we're just gonna let this run through when um, we get closer to the end, we'll check back up on it. Just want to show you right down here what I mean by the progress bar. This is the blue progress bar right there going across the bottom. Um, this will reboot when it's done. And this also, from what I heard, should not trip your Knox sensor uh, for warranty, which is a good thing. So we're going to let this go. Alright guys, so we're at the point here where we're about to wrap up. You can see the progress bar working across here. I'm thinking it's going to flash a couple more quick things. Um, shouldn't take too long, hopefully. And there we go. Alright, and it says it's been removed. So the device should be booting back up here. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so it just booted into a recovery screen here, as you guys can see, um, after Odin finished on our computer and it's flashing something there in stock recovery not sure what that is part of the hack process I'm assuming and right there is the boot animation again so this is gonna be the first boot up right here and once it finishes we'll step step through some setup processes I think because like I said I'm pretty sure this wipes out the device and this first boot may take a little while, so be patient with it. Oh, you know, that was actually very fast. So let's see if this actually doesn't does or doesn't actually wipe data. Now, you know, like I said, I'm missing the SIM card there, so not a big deal. Um, oh, look at that. This actually does not wipe data. That's actually very, very cool because that's exactly how I left it set up. Looks pretty much stock, but that's how I left it. So that's really nice. Let's go back over the computer and show you some more steps on this. So what we're going to make sure we're doing though is we're going to make sure that this is clicked and it is on MTP and we're still hooked up with our USB cable on the bottom. So let's go back to the computer and let me finish these steps for you. Okay, so over on the computer here, this is actually done so we can uh, go ahead and close the Odin program. And we're just going to come over here and we're going to go to where it says root files zip and we're going to click on those and we're going to tell them to extract and we're going to tell them to extract to SD so I'm going to type in SD say OK and they're done and right here is the SD and these are the two files so we're going to go ahead and copy those we're going to find our phone which should be right here here's phone 
There's still no SD card in it, so this is the root of the phone, and we're going to just paste them right here. Paste. Okay, very good. And it's right there. Go ahead and close this window out. Here is the directions. The next step in the directions say is very important. Go ahead and reboot the device. So we're going to go ahead and reboot our device down here. And just go ahead and hold down power and say restart. And let's let it reboot. Um, so this is important because what it does on reboot right here is it actually does the, the hacking process and gets that Super Su installed and all that kind of stuff right here. So it's really important that you put those two cards on that SD card or on the internal storage, whatever you want to call it, and um, go ahead and do this reboot. This is a key, key part of this process. So it's going to go through this and say Android is upgrading. And okay, should be good there. We're going to go ahead and unlock. Again, I just don't have a SIM in there. Go to connections and make sure that we have this connected selected go back out and go back to our computer again so on the computer guys we're gonna pull up our files and again click on the phone click on here again and select this file and this file root files and another one and go ahead and click delete say yes okay and we're done in there now. Close that out. Back to the phone. So over here on the phone, we're just going to go ahead and hit power again. Do another reboot. And we should be good there. Alright, so we're just waiting for this thing to reboot on this second time. Come on, there we go. So let's go ahead and unplug the USB cable. We're done with the computer at this point, and we're gonna go ahead and swipe finger across, click here, and we're gonna go into, well, let me just make sure we'll show you this just so you see it. Um, we'll go back into about phone, make sure you know we're still on the same build number, MI1. And then what we're gonna do is come over here, and we're gonna slide, slide, and hopefully find some good stuff here. Right there it is, Super Sue. So there you go, Super Sue right there. That is your root application. So it should be fully functioning at this point. Last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and log into the Play Store, which I haven't even done yet, and download Root Checker and just double check that we have root access. Okay, so here it is. There is Root Checker uh, downloaded. So we're gonna go ahead and hit open opens up the applications we can hit agree okay and then here is our ultimate test on the galaxy s4 verify root access shabam super sue grant congratulations this device has root access so there you go that's it that is how to get root access on the galaxy s4 hope you guys like this video hope it was informative for you a big shout out to the developers on this which would be beanstown uh, design gears, chain fire for Super Sue, um, all those guys for putting this together and knocking it out really fast. This OTA update was just released a couple days ago, so this is a uh, great work by them for sure. As always, guys, please check me out at rootjunkie.com. It's my website right here. You can follow me on Facebook or on Twitter on the other side. That is it. Talk to you guys later. Root Junkie out.